ありがとうございます。Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another rendition of J News Japan. I am your good brother J News, and we are going to recap night four,、uh, the final night of round one of the New Japan Cup. So, why don't we just start off with the first match of the night? We have Yo, one half of the、uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, going up against the member. Of the Los Ingo, but n o t i c e the Japon Bushi. This match lasted about 15 or so minutes.、Um, didn't feel like it to be quite honest. I felt like the match went a little bit, uh, uh, felt shorter than it was, to be honest.、Um, this match I didn't have much interest in、uh, from a storyline standpoint to see as to where what would navigate. Uh, out of my original picks from the bracket, I did pick Yo to win this match against Bushi, but that didn't happen. Bushi won this match against Yo.、Uh, Bushi hit him with the MX, and Bushi goes on to the second round.、Uh, nothing of note that I, that, I, that I noticed in this match at all.、Um, I wouldn't say it was hard fought. I didn't say there was a lot of back and forth.、Um, just more of a, I don't want to call it a run of the mill, you know, but it was.、Uh, It wasn't one of the more entertaining matches of the night.、Uh, match number two,、uh, another one of the, the first round matches. This match lasted about 18 minutes or so.、Uh, this included New Japan dad Hiro Yoshi Tenzan、uh, going up against Yoshi Hashi of Chaos.、Uh, as you've、uh, heard before, if you follow the channel and you follow J News Japan closely,、uh, Hiroshi, uh, uh, Hiro Yoshi Tenzan, I've been watching him for about 20 or so years. Of my life as a wrestling fan, so he's definitely one of the New Japan dads. And Yoshihashi isn't one of the guys that I tend to gravitate towards.、Uh, so I didn't really have any、uh, vested interest in this match,、uh, to say the least.、Um, this was more of your commonplace、um, uh, New Japan match where there was、um, good back and forth. Um, not a terribly exhaustive match、uh, for the competitors themselves,、um, but there was, it was evenly fought,、uh, to be、uh, completely honest about this. My bracket doesn't get busted here. Yoshihashi did win this match、uh, with the butterfly lock,、um, because towards the end of the match, I would say about the last、uh, five, four or five minutes,、uh, there was pretty much、uh, just submission holds being applied、uh, to one another to see who would tap. Uh, because their more high impact moves and other finishers were not working on one another.、Um, but Yoshihashi goes on to the second round here.、Uh, third match of the night included another eight man tag.、Uh, this tag match included members of Chaos. We have、uh, Sho of Rapongi 3K,、uh, Toru Yanu,、uh, Tomohiro Ishii, and the Rainmaker,、uh, Kazushika Okada. Uh, versus members of LIJ, Los Ingobernables de Japon.、Uh, we had Hiromu Takahashi, Shingo Takagi, Sonata, and Tetsuya Naito.、Um, you, uh, what can I say about this match? The match lasted about 13 minutes or so.、Um, we saw、uh, Tetsuya Naito go up against Okada one on one in this match.、Um, Shingo Takagi takes some blows from Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, Sonata and Sho went at each other for a little bit here.、Uh, but the, the story、uh, throughout this match、uh, was really the,、uh, the fear in Hiromu Takahashi towards Toru Yano. Yeah, that's right. I'm saying that. Hiromu Takahashi had a straight fear of,、uh, of Toru Yano.、Uh, reason being,、uh, it seems that Toru Yano has it in him,、uh, has this idea in his head. Uh, to cut off the lush mane,、uh, the hair of Takahashi.、Uh, that's been played up、uh, in this match a lot.、Um, even, you can even notice it in, Hir- in Hiromu's entrance uh, uh, during the match and throughout the match. To give you the result, the match ended in a double count out on the simple fact that Toru Yano went、uh, AWOL at one point. He took. Uh, Hiromu Takahashi uh, into, um, into the, into the,、uh, the grand, not the grandstands, but into the,、uh, 
into the mezzanine of the arena, and he sequestered him from the, from from uh, from ringside and stuff like that. Uh, damn near hogtied Hiromu <laughs> Takahashi, taped his uh, taped his uh, his feet together and stuff like that, and he had a pair of uh, of hair clippers. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, he had two pairs of hair clippers. One that was given to the referee earlier in the match, at the start of the match, and he had another hidden pair in his pants throughout the match. And that second hidden pair uh, was taken to um, uh, to try and attempt to cut uh, Takahashi's hair. Uh, but Takahashi's hair was not cut at all. There was just the thread of it uh, throughout uh, throughout this match. And that's what ended the match in a double countout. Due to Hiromu getting his 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 legs tied together, and that fear that 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 ultimate fear that Hiromu had of getting his uh his hair cut off, um, they ended the the match got called when they ended up going back into the stands. Um, the the bell rung. Okada tried to get Toriyano back into the ring, um, but to no avail because the count had already ended and stuff like that. And by the end of it. Um, I believe it was Takagi and Naito had to carry uh, Takahashi back uh, back from one side of the arena to the other so, just so that he could exit uh, the right way and stuff like that. So it was pretty funny to watch that. So we'll see more of that interaction, Hiromu Takahashi and Toriyano, as, uh, as things uh, progress. Uh, match number four, we had... Hiroki Goto of Chaos versus Yujiro Takahashi of the Bullet Club. Uh, I call this one Goto won this match with the famed GTR. Uh, I've never been a fan of Takahashi's style um, in the ring. So it's always kind of um, uh, sort of laborious for me to, to watch his matches in a sense. Just because they're so, uh, it's not even a slow pace. It's just kind of stylistically what he does doesn't grab my attention and stuff like that. And I had to struggle with this match a lot because I'm a fan of Goto, um, you know. But uh, the outcome was what I figured that it would be. Um, Takahashi didn't do anything out of the ordinary that I can that that I would say uh, made any difference during the match. He was. Um, joined at ringside by Jado. Uh, Jado did hit Goto with the ken- kendo stick at one point during the match. He did cause distraction um, during the match, but that didn't do much of anything as Goto did win when he hit the GTR for the finale. The match lasted about 17 minutes or so. And then the fifth match of the night, last match of the night, we had another one of the New Japan dads, Satoshi Kojima uh, versus Evil of LIJ. This match, like most last matches in the first round, lasted about 20 minutes. Uh, this one was the exhaustive match. This was the match where guys hit, where these two guys were hitting each other with high impact lariats and different moves and things of that nature. And you just saw these guys just tiring out throughout the match. Uh, very well put together match. Um, between Evil and Kojima, but in this case, Evil being the more, uh, I don't know if you want to say popular wrestler at, at, at this point in time, and, the, and one of the younger guys, he uh, he did get this win, hitting Evil at the end of the match, um, which was very hard fought, like I said, a very exhaustive match, um, and it worked towards what it was that they were going for. Uh, at the beginning of the match, Evil uh, tried to take Kojima's arm, uh, right arm, out of contention because with the right arm he couldn't, he can't. If he loses the the use of his right arm, he can't chop. He can't do the machine gun chops. He can't do his big lariat and stuff like that. He trapped uh, Kojima's arm in the chair and then slammed it up against the ring post. Uh, I thought that was gonna get, uh, that was gonna totally take out uh, Kojima's arm in the match, but that only lasted about a minute or two. Uh, throughout the beginning of the match. Um, and Kojima got the strength back in his arm and they were able to um, pop off some high-impact uh, lariats for Kojima and, and elbow drops and things of that nature. So uh, that story wasn't necessarily well told here, but um, like I said, Evil won out with everything else in between. 
Uh, we're going to give you the roundup for round two as we have it now. Uh, here's the cup update. Let's crack it down. We have tomorrow on the 24th, we have Togi Makabe versus Tomohiro Ishii on June 24th, night five, round two. We also have on the 24th, Toru Yano versus Hiromu Takahashi, as we saw today uh, in night four, uh, final night of round one, uh, that story starting to be told uh, we will see how that plays out tomorrow night um, also tomorrow night on the 24th we have uh, Kazuchika Okada versus Yuji Nagata um, that match um, not much of a toss up in that part as, as to who was going to win and who's going to go forward um, into the third round uh, but that will be an interesting match to see being how beloved Nagata and Okada both are uh, by New Japan, by the New Japan faithful, and then the last match of the night, we're gonna have uh, Yoshinobu Kanemaru of Suzuki Goon uh, versus Taiji Shimori of uh, of the Bullet Club. So that is uh, the beginning of round two uh, for the twenty fourth. After the twenty fourth, the uh, the rest of round two will take place on July first. Um, so after tomorrow, that'll be, yeah, I had to do night three, night four, night five, tomorrow, uh, night five, beginning of round two. Um, I'll be back on July 1st uh, for the second part of round two. So, ladies and gents, thank you for watching another rendition of J News Japan. Uh, I have been the good brother J News, yet again, giving you the skinny on what it is and what's going on in the New Japan Cup. As always, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And do yourselves a favor. Take it easy. Take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. And be well. As always, stay resting fans, y'all. Peace.